अभी आपको बुरा हिरास ले चलेंगे इमरान खान अलग सही इजलास से वर्चुअल खिताब कर रहे हैं करप्शन एज वेल एज क्राइम एंड टैक्स वेजन ट्रिलियन ऑफ डॉलर फ्लो आउट ऑफ डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज इच ईयर सेवन ट्रिलियन डॉलर इन स्टोलन एसेट्स अब पार्क इन द फाइनेंशियल हेवन कंट्रीज द फ्लाइट ऑफ दिस वास्ट रिसोर्सेज फ्रॉम द डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज is a principal cause of their underdevelopment poverty inequality and political instability during the consideration of the interim report in september last year i had suggested several global policy actions including a major return of stolen assets penalties on the financial institutions lawyers and accountants and other enablers of corruption crime and tax evasion disclosure on the beneficial ownership of companies a global minimum corporate tax fair digital taxation review and revision of unequal investment treaties and a coherent mechanism for monitoring illicit financial flows set up under the united nations i'm glad that these proposals have been reflected in the final report of the panel as the facta report states this is a systemic problem embedded within the international financial architecture it requires a systemic solution it cannot be resolved by piecemeal or cosmetic actions the magnitude of the illicit financial flows is staggering if recovered and returned they can have a transformational impact on the development prospects of the developing countries as the report says this could enable the developing countries to eradicate poverty reduce inequalities build back better after the covid crisis address climate change and strengthen human rights i endorse the three point plan proposed by the panel one apply international values of honesty and integrity to all financial transactions two strengthen policy frameworks and three reform and reinforce the relevant institutions dealing with these illicit financial flows these responses could form a part of global pact for financial integrity national and cross border financial transactions should be regulated under a value based system encompassing accountability transparency legitimacy fairness inclusion and equity these values should be reflected in all national and international financial instruments institutions and transactions and particularly in those bodies which address illicit financial flows all such activities should conform to rules and standards that are compatible with and contribute to sustainable development and global financial governance must improve policies on illicit flows must be implemented in a coordinated and coherent way by national and international institutions and bodies international bodies dealing with tax matters corruption and illicit financing should be inclusive and representative they should not be used in, as an instruments of pressure and coercion against developing countries a global forum under the united nations should coordinate all bodies dealing with technical legal and political aspects of illicit financial flows it should incorporate a mechanism to educate and mediate disputes on issues relating to illicit financial flows excellencies it's now time to act on recommendations of the fact i panel Pakistan will be happy to join in proposing the adoption of FACTI panel report by the by the United Nations Economic and Social Council and the General Assembly. 
we must also take some quick concrete actions first a commitment by haven countries to immediately and unconditionally return all foreign assets that are shown to be stolen or whose legitimacy cannot be explained the oecd's proposal to freeze and return the unexplained assets of foreign politically exposed persons is worthy of consideration secondly the un should initiate several steps including initiate negotiations on the new international tax cooperation and anti money laundering legal instruments like the convention on corruption adopt common principles identified by the fact i panel that that would apply to all financial transactions and establish a un coordination adjudication and mediation mechanism on illicit financial flows pakistan will work actively with all like minded countries to realize these vital objectives i thank you وزیر اعظم عمران خان ورچوئل خطاب کر رہے تھے ان کا کہنا ہے کہ ملک کے اندر اور باہر مالیاتی لین دین کو قانونی بنایا جائے گا یہ کہنا ہے وزیر اعظم عمران خان کا